movie really out of focus? Did that actor really not have a face? No! It's the Blind Movie Reviewer! <laughs> Derek, the Blind Movie Reviewer is here. Derek uh, went and saw the movie. Well, <laughs> Derek went to the movie 23. I went to another, another movie where my wife, Rebecca, ditches me. She, she takes me to the theater and ditches me because she, she doesn't want... Why, she didn't like scary movies? Well, she didn't. She just didn't didn't like the whole premise. She wanted to go see uh, lyrics and music and lyrics by. So she no went to that way. one. What's yeah. that? That's, That's the one with that Drew Barrymore, Drew Barrymore oh, and Hugh God. Grant. Yeah, well, she's, yeah, because she always she always goes to the movies to the movies that I go to to review, and she 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 needs to get that sort of element of um, you know chick flick. You should have gone to that one, maybe. To you know what? Ultimately, I should have. Because the number 23, but before I start, I just want to mention, um, I, I tried to go to the Varsity to see this one. Uh-huh. And if you have any visually impaired friends, I, I've got a game for you. It's <laughs> called, Is It a Door or Is It a Full-Length Mirror? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I have the worst, that, that place just kills Eats me. you up, does it? Oh, because it's sort of like, oh, I, maybe I can try that door. There's a guy there, I'll ask him. Oh, that's me. <laughs> you should go to one of those fun houses one time because yeah. it won't oh, look God. like you, so it'll be weird with the distorted uh, mirrors. Derek's <laughs> been gone for 13 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to so many people, yeah. <laughs> so many mutes. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and the other, the other game is: is it, uh, is it a doorway or is it plate glass? That's my other one too. Funny. I have that problem at the Royal Ontario Museum all the time. I, I try, I try to get a closer look. <laughs> Right off the Any way. bruises? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I'm always afraid I'm going to break the window. <laughs> anyway, back to the movie. So Jim Carrey stars in this one, and it's, uh, it's about a guy. He plays this character, Walter Sparrow. And uh, his life, is he's a dog catcher. He's got a very normal life. And then uh, his wife, by fate, gives him this book called The Number 23. And it's sort of an exercise in paranoia. And he starts reading it, and he starts getting really paranoid about The Number 23. <gasps> Now, in reality, the number 23 is, is supposed to be a mystic number that comes up. And it's a, it's a great premise for a movie, really. <gasps> but let me, I'll tell you how the movie kind of goes. It starts off with a great premise, and then it kind of falls apart. When I, I present to you right now, and uh, this isn't having to do with the clip, Jason. No, this is uh, not the clip. Okay. No. Uh, uh, the number 23, some facts about the number 23. What is... Uh, let's see. The Earth rotates on its axis on a 23-degree angle. Okay? Okay. September 11th, 9-11, 2001, adds up to 23. Okay. Yeah. Okay? So this people, in reality, really do freak out about this number occurring. Uh, three, uh, two divided by three is 0. .666. So it's, right. it's like this That's worldly a, yeah. number of the devil. Also, so, 23, 23, and 23 is 69. Exactly. Yeah. Michael exactly. Jordan. 69. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Derek. D-E-R-E-K. That's five letters. Jesus' name has five letters. I'm 35. Jesus had 12 disciples. 35 minus 12, my friends. Is twenty three? Just pulling stuff. Hey, out Derek. Of if you turn twenty three around three twenty, that's pretty much what I see. Derek. Yes. Sixty nine. I was going to say Todd likes sixty nine. Uh huh. Todd likes threesomes. Sixty nine divided by three is twenty three. Yeah. Booyah! I don't want to scare you people. <laughs> well, you're not, so it's working out good. Because that's Just exactly like the what the, that's exactly what the movie's about. It, it, it starts off with this great premise, and then it goes. I, I have there are two things in movie plots that I cannot stand. One, it's like a vehicle for a plot if you've run out of ideas, and I've mentioned this one before. Other than uh, maybe H.G. Wells and Marty McFly, time machines in movies are a terrible plot vehicle. And the other one, which, which takes, because obviously they've run out of ideas, so let's use a time machine and we'll fix the problem. The other one, which occurs in this film, is amnesia. Oh, yeah. Oh. Amnesia, that has got to be the worst cop-out for any film ever. Oh, well, that's easily explainable because he has amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> it was like uh, St. Elsewhere. Did you ever watch that TV show? Oh, and the whole... Yeah, the kid just had uh, Down syndrome or something at the end of it. Oh, that's right. The whole thing was yeah. going on in his mind. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that explains it. 
I uh, know he's autistic, but anyway. Yeah, yeah so whatever. <laughs> so, and, and the other interesting thing about this is it's a, it's a Joel Schumacher film. Who's that? Joel What's Schumacher he Batman? did Batman. He's done, and this is actually his 23rd full oh, feature. Oh, crazy. Yeah. But I think he, he probably only has two that did really well. Lost Boys and St. Elmo's Fire, and everything else has been kind of crap. So I, I'm not really sure why I did that one. Now, I'm saying all this because there's a code in all that I've been saying. Jason has been working diligently in the background while I've been talking, and he's been taking every 23rd word I've said and editing it all together. I have. Jason, you're a brilliant man. Could you play that tape for us right now? I will right now. Don't waste your money. The number 23 sucks. It gets 2.3 out of 5, and that's the way I see it. It's the Blind Movie Review God, that was funny. Good job, Derek. Link 182, 102.